Welcome to this video, my name is Christian from Beyond Premiere and today we're going to do something a little different. As you all know, we're just two weeks away from the season finale of From and the show has grown in both popularity and in theories. Now, I know what you're thinking, why are we discussing this so early? Episode 8 and 9 have not released yet if you're watching this after 8. Well, I'm just too excited about the upcoming episode 10 to wait any longer to discuss the episode. Plus, we have some plot details that I'm going to go ahead and discuss. No! There's so many theories, so many unanswered questions, and so many clues that seem to be leading to a mind-blowing finale. How do you know? The anticipation is just too much and I wanted to share it with all of you. So today we're going to break down our thoughts on the season so far, our prediction for the finale, and our hopes for the future of the series. So let's get into it. So let's discuss the title of this episode, Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Now, this is an interesting choice, isn't it? As we all know, this phrase is most commonly associated with fairy tales, leading us into stories of magical worlds and more often than not, a happy ending. But as we have seen, the town and its residents are far from any fairy tale we know. One interpretation could be that we're going to explore into the history of the town and I have clues confirming why. Once Upon a Time could signal a flashback episode where we learn about the origins of the town and its monsters, inhabitants. This could be a huge piece of the puzzle, helping the residents and us, the audience, understand how to break the town's curse. This title could suggest a turning point in the story. Could the residents be on a brink of changing their grim reality into something resembling a happily ever after? Well, that may seem far-fetched given the horrors they have endured. A stranger things have happened in this town. There's also the possibility that this title reflects a story or legend within the world of the show itself. Perhaps there's an old tale, a prophecy even, that begins with once upon a time and holds the key to their salvation. Once upon a time could have a more metaphorical meaning. It might symbolize a longing for normalcy, a desire for the times before the residents were trapped in this town. This could add an emotional depth to the finale as characters grapple with their past and what they have lost. We lost. But the title has a question mark. Once upon a time? Question mark. This is a rather intriguing choice as it introduced an element of uncertainty and doubt. The addition of the question mark invites us to question the very nature of the phrase once upon a time. And something that we can see from the show, we're gonna get the beginning of this tale. Hopefully and finally. <laughs> what do you think about that? Could it be that once upon a time serves as a hint at the things that are not as they seem in the town? Are we about to discover a twist that challenges our understanding of the story? It's possible that the episode will take us on a journey. The episode description has another layer of anticipation and mentions that Boyd fears he may be running out of answers while Tabitha clings to the belief that the children could be the key to their salvation. This description raises further questions about the challenges that the characters will face in the finale but talking about the episode description which is the following. Boy fears he may finally run out of answers as the residents of the town prepare for the end. That's a big hint about what we can expect. Tabitha clings to the belief that the children could be the key to their salvation. Boyd and Tabitha, throughout the season, we have seen how Boyd in constant pursuit of answers. One significant scene that comes to mind in his encounter with Martin in early episodes of the season. And Boyd finds Martin chained to a wall. The place feels old and worn. Raising questions about his origins, who built this place, who put Martin in the wall. Boyd sees another man chained up and deceased, and their conversation is intriguing. Martin speaks of going through a tree and getting trapped, mentioning they will get you. This introduces a sense of an unknown, potentially evil force in the town. Something that I think about the season finale is that the episode description states that Boyd's fear finally run out of answers. Of course, this raises questions, but will he find the answers he's been seeking, or will he fall victim to the very horrors he's been trying to understand? Going from what we know about the episodes ahead, is that Boyd wanted to use the vial on the monsters. However, this seems not to work, so that's why. We have seen multiple instances in the show where characters such as Boyd, Mary, and Elgin have shared visions or dreams about specific objects 
like the ballerina and the music box. This vision seems to be a hint at a shared consciousness or a collective memory that transcends time and space. In Season 2, Episode 1 and 2, Boyd meets Martin after being transported by the faraway tree. Intriguingly, Martin knows details about Boyd's personal life, specifically about his wife Abby. This implies that either Martin has some way of knowing about the events and people from different timelines, or he himself has traveled through time and space. I can explain everything! Martin intriguing question, what if this is all just a dream? It suggests a possible explanation. What if the characters are not physically traveling through time, but are instead experiencing memories, thoughts, or dreams of others? The town could be some sort of a collective consciousness, where all inhabitants are linked mentally rather than physically. This is something that it connects to why Jade saw the guy from Civil War. After all, Sarah heard Boise from the dark side telling her to kill the boy, maybe referring to the boy in white. The worms given to Boyd by Martin might serve as a catalyst for this process, triggering the visions and dreams shared by various characters. This could mean that the town's residents are experiencing events from different timelines or hinting at the town being a time travel trap. If this theory holds, it could have significant implications for the finale and the series future. It raises questions about the reality of the events in the show. Are the characters living in a dream? Are they time traveling? Or are they just experiencing the past or future through their shared consciousness? This time travel theory also connects to why the children might be the key to the resident's salvation. If the children are somehow more connected to this collective consciousness, they might be able to navigate it more effectively or find a way to break free from it. This connects to why Tavi and Jade are able to see visions or events happening in life without actually going into a dream like we have seen Elgin and Mary. Moving into Tabitha, which has been a fascinating character to follow this season, venturing into the unknown in search for answers, and her journey has taken her into the heart of the town's mysteries. One of the most significant moments in her story was her exploration of the caves, which she embarked on after discovering that the town's electricity was mysteriously con unconnected to any known power lines. She was found by Victor, guided by the boy in white, who seems to be a good force in the town, and Davida and him go deeper into the mystery surrounding the town and now the caves. Inside the caves, they discover ancient drawings depicting a lighthouse, people in boats, and a large red monster, and a symbol that has been haunting Jade. This symbol previously drove Christopher to madness and led to a tragic massacre. And with Jade now seeing it, we cannot help but wonder what it might mean for him in the final episodes. Will he follow to the same fate as Christopher or can he resist the symbol's destructive power? Tabitha discoveries in the cave do not end there. She finds a strange symbol that resembles a puzzle with different floors held together by three rocks. It's a cryptic image and it's possible that it holds some deeper meaning that will come into play in the finale. Tabitha's encounter with the ghostly children in the caves are as well compelling. The children don't seem to be evil or same as the monster we have seen before. Similar to the boy in white, they're all wearing white colors. And as well, Martin had us the same white color, so hey. <laughs> but they keep repeating and Kiwi before going away. What could this word mean? Does these children hold the key to some hidden truth about the town? Could it be a hint or a code to unlock the mystery of the town? We can expect Davita to continue her quest for answers, driven by her belief that the children could be the key to their salvation. As we approach the finale of the season, her character arc promised to be one of the most interesting to watch and important. The town's inhabitants might need to understand what this word means or what it represents. To finally break free from the dreamlike time travel trap, consciousness collection trap they seem to be stuck in. Of course, it's going to be fascinating to see how this theory is played out and how the characters respond to these revelations. This opens a range of possibilities for the role the children might play in the finale. Could they hold some kind of power or knowledge that it could help the residents of the town? We can make the connection that the boy and girl that Tavi sees could be the brother and sister. But now, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, in an age untold, a group of weary travelers arrived by boat to a land that was unlike any they had ever known. Guided by the beacon of a lighthouse, they disembarked their vessels, carrying nothing but hope for a new beginning and the fear of the unknown. The lighthouse, standing tall and firm, was a symbol of guidance, its luminescence a promise of safe harbor. Unbeknownst to them, 
The lighthouse also signified the entrance to a realm far from their understanding, a world filled with paradoxes and mysteries. Not long after their arrival, the settlers stumbled upon an eerie symbol turned on its side. This arcane symbol was an enigma that stirred unease within the settlers' hearts. It was a symbol they would soon learn that marked the boundaries of their reality and time, an indicator of the infinite loop that defined this new world. As time passed, the symbol began to weave its way into their dreams, into their conversations, and into their fears. It was unescapable and potent, bringing with it a sense of dread. Yet it was only when they encountered the red monster that they truly understood the horror they had stumbled upon. The red monster was unlike anything they had seen or imagined, a creature of nightmares, a harbinger of chaos and terror. Its red hue was as disturbing as the blood that stained the land, its form a gruesome reminder of the danger that lurked within the shadows of this newfound home. As fear and madness took hold, the symbol's power grew, intertwining the fate of the settlers with the land itself. They were caught in an endless loop, their reality marred by the monster, their hope diminished with every sunset. Yet, within this terrifying cycle, a glimmer of hope persisted. The infinity symbol, while a mark of their entrapment, also held a promise of continuity, of survival against odds. It represented the duality of their existence, their struggle for survival amidst unending fear, their resilience against the monstrous terror, and their endless search for a way to break free from the eternal loop. Once upon a time, a group of people arrived by boat, guided by a lighthouse to a land marked by a symbol, haunted by a red monster. This is their story, a tale of courage, fear, and survival, and the starting point of the mystery that pervades the town to this day. The drawings in the cave are their legacy, a cry for help etched in stone, a riddle for the current residents to unravel, their only hope for salvation. So the story paints a vivid picture of the town's past, shedding light on its history and the mysterious events that led to its current state. Let's delve deeper into the characters and discuss some predictions and theories for the finale. Boyd, as we discuss, fears he's out of answers and his struggle to find a solution might come to a head in the finale. Boyd's role as the de facto leader and protector of the group plays a significant responsibility on his shoulders. If the vial, as we know, doesn't seem to work on the monsters, Boyd might need to explore a new strategy, perhaps one that connects to the historical clues uncovered in the caves. And of course, going from Tabitha, who believes that the children are the key. This may lead her to finding a way to communicate or connect with the children, especially if they are connected to the town's past or their trapped spirits of some kind. If the children truly hold the key to the salvation, this will help a lot. Could this mean that they're a representation of the original children from the boats, relieving their story over and over again, trapped in the cycle of time? but who trapped them there. Now here's an interesting theory I came across from one of our viewers, Jason Caldwell5627. He says that the trees are moving into the shape of the circle symbol, perhaps implying a significant transformation or event in the town. But what's really chilling is the idea that the monsters could change or awaken during the daytime, leading to a massacre similar to the one Victor experienced as a child. This would indeed be a terrifying turn of events, and it fits with the ominous signs we have seen throughout the season. The talisman shows symbols for both sunset and sunrise. It could mean that they only work at night, providing some sort of protection or power against the monsters, and what would happen if that protection fails during the day. The concept of a game reset is also intriguing, Imagine the horror of surviving a massacre only to see the town restored and new people are brought in, ignorant of the horrors they're about to face. This could set up an interesting narrative for the next season. My prediction is that when they go into the faraway tree, they're going to find themselves in another time period. So that could be really interesting and that's the way that they're going to explore what happened with the lighthouse and the people in boats. That would be super interesting. So these are just predictions and theory and that's the beauty of the show from its ability to continue to engage us in many unexpected ways and that's one of the things that I love about the show is that there can be so many ways it can go It makes me really excited to see the next episode. My name is Christian from BM Premiere, hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye everyone.